Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This discussion today it will be in the two-dimensional force systems where we have the rectangular component here and we have the F force in a rectangular form So in the rectangular form, in the previous video I have explained to you that Fx here, it will revert to the factor component of F in the X direction and the Fy here is it will be the factor component of F in the Y direction. So we can write that F is, uh, is Fx plus Fy because the F is the resultant of the Fx and Fy. And also in the unit, uh, in terms of the unit factors, we also can write that F here. Yeah, like this one, it will refer to the F if you have, uh, if you remember that the I here is refer to the unit factor and J is uh, also refer to the unit factor. So F will be the F times I plus FY it, it, it times to the J where this one it refer to the unit factor. And the basic uh, equation you have to remember in this rectangular component, it will be the basic equation for all of times uh, later on. So you have to remember this one that the fx, which is f is the component, fx the component of f in the x direction, it will revert to the fx. Uh, how to get fx? fx, you will, you will get the fx by uh, using this equation f cosine uh, theta fy it will be the f sine theta and uh, here come back to the is that the uh, Pythagorean theorem that f is this, uh, the root of uh, fx square plus fy square and the theta it will be the tangent to the power of minus 1 fy minus fx and also you have you, you can also exchange this one you can use tangent theta uh, tangent to the power of minus 1 fx uh, divided by the fy it's also it will be the same but you have by using this one you have to use this minus of the theta and here you can use the theta directly you will get it equal to the alpha and here you will get the alpha actually it's a uh, same you can choose which one is better for you okay the determine the components of force uh, here please remember that the dimensions are not always given in horizontal are not always given in horizontal or vertically it's not a must and we have to remember that angles don't need to be measured counterclockwise from the x-axis it's not a month and the origin of coordinate not need to be uh, it's need not to or uh, uh, it's don't need to be on the line of action of force sometimes it's the different lines of the force so it is uh, a view typical example of the factors and it will very very important for you and it is very essential that uh, it will uh, you have to be able to determine the correct component of a force for example if you have the x where the x and y direction like this one is not horizontal and vertical uh, it's make a different form so the fx since the fx is a river to the f in the component, uh, fx is the component of f in the x direction. The fx it will be the f sin beta, and also f1 is the f cos beta. In another typical uh, example, we will have the f like this one coming to the applied point, to the point of uh, point of action. So the fx will be the minus cos beta and the fy is the minus f sin theta. In also in this one, if you have the f, but we know that the beta uh, was given here. So you will you, you, how to get the fx where the x here. 
So the fx is the f sine uh, phi minus beta, and also the fy is a negative f cos uh, phi minus beta. And then for the last view, typical form of the components of force, if you want to find the fx on this case, you can get fx is the f cos beta minus alpha, and fy is the f sine beta minus alpha. Okay, in this case, for this example, uh, we will have a rectangular component here. So how you, we will find the R if we have two different forces, which is the F1 and F2. We use here is the triangle, triangle low. So we will get the R here. And I'm going to pick down this one to the unit factor. So the result of the resultant it will be obtained by adding the F1 plus F2 All right. and in this factor component let's see that the F1 to the direction of X it will be here so I can exchange the F1 is the F1X and also the F1 here they have the direction on the y direction so the f1 y here the f1 is equal to the f1 a plus f1 y plus so it will be same with the f1 f2 it will be f2 x plus f2 y and we also can write it as a R one X one I I I mean F Y and also here is the R Y G. Where does it come from? And if you if you have to break down this one, uh this will be come from the F X plus F two X and here it will be f1 y plus f2 y so the rx it will be the f1 x plus f2 x and ry it will be the f2 x uh, f2 y for f1 y sorry to f2 y where we also can write this one as the sum of fx and it is the sum of fy now let's go to the exercise in this exercise we have the four three force the first force is the forces f1 f2 and f3 where all of uh, these forces act on the a point and the bracket so three forces have the same point of application that is uh, intersect here at a point and it is uh, specified in the different ways they have the different ways um, all of them determine the x and y scalar component of each of three forces uh, maybe it's always very complicated if you uh, look all of three working in one uh, diagram so you have to break down to be like this one it is the A, B, and C where A is river to solve the problem of F1 and the two to solve the force two and the third uh, the C here to solve the force uh, three. Come on, we start from the force one. Come back to the previous equation. Remember that the F1 x is the factor component of F1 to the x direction so please give me a minute to solve all of this <laughs> 